what is an overnight makeup bag in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you all the products that i carry when i'm traveling anywhere so let's jump straight into the video now when it comes to packing your bag for an overnight trip or just packing your makeup bag to go anywhere it's important that you put in products that you know work for you and that are actually kind of manipulative as well in the sense they can give you a very natural look and a very full glam look as well because you don't know where you're going all right so that is my perspective for when i pack my makeup the first product that i have is the elf pole Party primer now you guys know i love this it is absolutely beautiful i've used quite a lot and i use it every day um it is not only smoothing but it also hydrates the skin so it suits me really really well all right the next is also a skin prep product and it is the color bar spotlight illuminating lotion this is something that I really, really like and I enjoy using. Ever since I started using the powder puff, uh, my makeup looks a little bit dry, which is obviously going to happen. So this underneath my foundation works really, really well because it's slightly moisturizing and also it's illuminating. So it gives you a beautiful finish. In this, I also have the Seal the Deal Hydrating Mist from Flower Beauty. I use this as a prepping spray and a setting spray both. So it's very handy to have. It's a very nice formula. This gives you a dewy finish. Again, more suitable for dry skin as compared to oily skin. Now that the skin prep stuff is aside, let's go into makeup. The first thing that I have in here is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Now, this is a beautiful concealer. This shade is at that perfect sweet spot where I can correct and also highlight with this. So absolutely love this. It's a very beautiful concealer and I actually enjoy doing only concealer makeup with this concealer only just because of the kind of texture that it has and the coverage. It blends out beautifully and it's absolutely stunning on the skin. Next up we have foundation. Now this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I personally love this. It is a favorite from my entire makeup collection. And I like this because it's illuminating. So in the during the day, it keeps my skin really nice and dewy. And in the night, I can go a little bit heavier and go in with a much more fuller look for my base. It's very adjusting in that nature. You can layer it easily. You can tone it down easily. So it's a very easily manipulated foundation that is very beginner friendly. So if you're looking for something that is in this particular category, you will really enjoy this. Next in my makeup kit is lipsticks. Now, why lipsticks before any sort of powder is because I like to enjoy using my lipstick as a liquid blush as well or a cream blush. Even if you have a matte lipstick, I showed this technique a while ago, mix your matte lipstick with a little bit of concealer and use it as a blush. It works beautifully. So you will have endless cream blush options if you have a lot of lipsticks. For powder, I have the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. I use the shade Cupcake. Now, why this powder? Why not K by Katrina or Maybelline Fit Me? Here's the thing. The K by Katrina Loose Powder is more suitable for everyday looks. It is, it's not something that gives you a very higher glam finish. It's a very lightweight powder. It's a beautiful formula. There's no doubt about it. But just in case you have to go out you need to use a powder that gives you a more finer finish and a more glam finish that i think this powder does really really well um so yeah that is my opinion on things for bronzer blush and highlight if i am only traveling for a day i am only going to carry a palette instead of carrying separate items just don't even carry your palette it's easier it's more practical i like the smashbox the cali contour palette this is absolutely beautiful you get a contour you get a bronzer you get a blush you get a lightening powder brightening powder and you get two highlights this highlights this highlighter is a little darker for me so i don't use this but i do use this it is very very pretty easy to use it's very compact and it also has a mirror in it so it adds a mirror to your vanity as well just in case you don't have a large mirror in front of you so this is really really helpful and as far as tools are concerned 
I would say you at least for your face need only four tools. You can do your entire face using a sponge. The sponge that I like to carry is from Back Cosmetics. This is very nice, easy and it dries down easy. It's just an easy sponge to carry it's a, and it works beautifully. I like to keep a powder puff on hand just because I like using one. This particular one is from Back Cosmetics again. Um, it's a good powder puff. I like to use the powder puff to set the under eye. The rest of my face I set with this brush. This one is from La Cara. This is from their first collection, the F001 brush. Now this can be used as a bronzer br brush. It can also be used as a powder brush which I have used for today. Now coming to blush. I like to use the La Cara S005 for blush. And you can also actually use this for bronzer. This works both ways, nothing to worry about. It's an angled brush, you can use it for bronzer, you can use it for blush. Hell, you can use it even to highlight a little bit if you like that very glowy look. So yeah, this brush, an angled brush in your makeup kit will never ever go wrong. Let's quickly jump into the eyes. The eye palette that I usually like to carry is the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze palette. Why? Because number one, it's compact. Number two, it has a mirror in it. Number three, you can never go wrong with shimmer shades from Huda Beauty. And second of all, it has a variation to it, all right? It has quite a variety to it because if you look right here, you have these two pink shades. So if you're wearing something a little bit more to this side, you can still make an eye look work. Uh, you have these very warm shades right here. You can do a classic brown smoky eye. You can do a pink eye as well. You have these gold shades for when you want to step out during the night. You can use this shade as an eyeliner. You can use this in the crease so to add a little bit of dimension. And you can do a simple brown smoky eye using these three matte shades and you can add this red for that fiery kind of look for out in the town. And I mean, you can never go wrong with Huda Beauty shimmer shades and matte shades, actually. Now, as far as the brow pencils, kajal mascaras are concerned, here's what I like to carry. I like to carry the Swiss Beauty Brow Gel just because it's easy. It's easy to use. Also, when I'm traveling, you don't really always have the time to wash your hair. So this brow gel, I also like to use just to tidy up my hairline if I am wearing my hair this way. And this also helps in containing any flyaways and baby hair. So this is a very helpful gel in that ways. For my brow pencil, I like to carry the one from Morphe. It has a very fine tip and it has a spoolie on the other end. And this is slightly darker as compared to my other brow pencils. So I can go with a lighter hand if I want to do a very everyday brow. And I can go heavier with this as well. For the mascara, I like to carry the NYX Worth the Hype mascara. Again, it's a product that works for me. I'm wearing it today and even if I had a heavier eye makeup on and I was wearing this, it would look beautiful. It's a very good mascara that gives you length and volume and it's black and intense so you can never go wrong with this. Also one thing that I would always always recommend that you have is a brown eye pencil or a kajal. Now this depends upon your preference. I like using a brown eye pencil more than I like using a kajal. Okay so this one is from Flower Beauty. This is the long wear eyeliner in the shade Brownstone. This is very pretty. I've used it today to tight line my eye and I really like this. It's a good pencil it's a beautiful shade i can swatch this yeah see it's pigmented it's a beautiful shade and it's that pen so you don't have to sharpen it that situation is all out you don't have to carry a sharpener so it's easy all right let's talk about eye makeup tools you basically need four brushes to be very very honest with you I think we could do it with three as well, but I think four should be good. The first one is a blending brush. You can also use this to highlight. I've used this today, but just make sure that before you go in with your eye makeup, you clean the brush off on a cloth or makeup remover cloth or anything that you have next to you. If you have the color switch thing, carry that, but a cloth also works. A flat brush. This one is from La Cara. This is the S016. It's a beautiful flat brush. It has a very stunning shape which allows you to cut your crease really really well and it also does the very good job of carving out your brows. So definitely something that you need to carve out your brows and to carve your crease. 
just in case you're doing a heavier look this is an essential in your kit next up i have a pencil brush keep any sort of pencil brush i like this one from morphe this was a part of their kit and it's a simple pencil brush nothing over the top but it does a very good job of laying product directly into the crease and you can also use this to blend stuff out using very small circular motion it gives you a lot of control when you're blending with a smaller brush so definitely something that you should have now i like to use this brush alone to do my lid color and my inner corner highlight i can do it i just clean my brush really well but just in case you find that a little bit tedious you can add a flat brush this is again from morphe it's a very small flat brush you can use this to pack shadow onto your lid and also to add your inner corner highlights you can use your pencil brush to do your lower lash line as well it's very easy it's just a very versatile brush this is, and if you don't have a pencil brush in your vanity do invest in one because they can really help you in your eye makeup game and the last is lipstick keep as many lipsticks as you want it's there's no doubt about it um so yeah my lipsticks usually depend upon the kind of outfits i am carrying i always carry a nude i carry a lip liner and i carry a pink just to make sure i'm covering everything so yeah that is it this is what i carry in my makeup kit if you want a video on what i carry in my skincare go ahead comment down below let me know i'd love to do it but yeah that is it for today's video if you did enjoy please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification i will see you all very soon Bye bye